Hello and welcome to this video about the analysis of a student race car using the HyperWorks application virtual wind tunnel. We start our process in HyperMesh where we import the geometry. We then scale the geometry to the required dimensions, remember that virtual wind tunnel will only import in SI units. Use the advanced auto mesh panel to mesh the geometry. The meshing for any CFD analysis is an intensive process with great attention to mesh quality and feature capture. View the meshed model. Proceed to check the mesh for duplicates. Then check the mesh for quality criteria. Make sure there are no free edges or missing elements, thus ensuring that the model is watertight and a close volume. Export the mesh to the NAS format. Open the model in Virtual Wind Tunnel application. Create the wind tunnel using the Edit Tunnel option and adjust the dimensions of the wind tunnel. Use the translate option to position the wind tunnel or the car in the wind tunnel. Identify the necessary parts of the car for boundary layers.
identify the wheels of the car's wheels, and ensure the rotation is correct. Note that on your model you must have all four wheels as individual parts. Go to Run and select the Run parameters. You can modify the parameters or use the automatically calculated parameter values for your model. Once the run is complete view the results. View the comprehensive personalized result report.